Those living out here say it sounded like something out of the movies. Now aggravated with the several bullet holes left behind on their vehicles and homes. But also after seeing all of that damage, they say they are thankful no one was hurt. First he thought it was um, fireworks. And then all of a sudden it was just like boom, 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 boom. And he said all of, he told his son and him they got on the floor and they crawled. And then he said he looked out and he seen people hiding behind his house. And he said it was people running and just... He said it was just like the Wow West. Monica Johnson came to check on her brother and nephew, looking in disbelief at the aftermath of what happened here along Scottsdale Circle last night. All the bullet holes that I see, someone very could have easily got very hurt last night. I mean, you can't even be in your own home. I mean, it's not, it's not right. It's just not right. The news of this happening around her loved ones was difficult for Johnson, who says unfortunately she knows all too well. The impact of gun violence. My son was murdered six years ago here in Lexington. 20 year old Dwayne Johnson was killed in a shooting near Ray Street that injured three others back in 2009. Stop the violence. Please stop the violence. Let people be have peace. It's, it's too much. It's too much. Now, police did take one teen into custody for questioning, and neighbors tell us they also towed away one vehicle from out here along the street. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT.